I'm going to dehydrate this before it turns to mush. Here's the dilemma. I'll eat that one. one oh! Professional tip from Michelle. Not celery seed because it won't be seedy. I'm turning into a professional, a professional dehydrator. I like to go outside the box. We don't need it to be perfect. We just need it to be dry. We're going to whack it like right there. I'm going to put this in my compost so my worms can enjoy this. Well, it's me back with another video. Today, I've got my coffee. Coffee? And we're ready to start working. What are we doing, you're asking me? I know you're asking me. We're doing this again. I'm turning into a professional, a professional dehydrator. That's what I'm doing. That's what I've always wanted. So, let me go put this over there because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna dehydrate today. Celery. I've got this leftover celery in my refrigerator. Watch the celery. Are you getting sleepy? Okay, I'm sorry. I've got this leftover celery and it's going bad and I don't have a lot of it, but I thought I'm going to dehydrate this before it turns to mush and then see this. I'm going to go plant that in my garden and see if it grows. I would like to maybe see if that works. I've seen other people do it, so why can't I? So we're gonna cut this up. I probably need to wash the celery, but I'll do that later. Let's, let's cut. Now, if I'm gonna let this grow, we're gonna whack it like right there. I'll plant that in my garden and I'll let you know if it grows on another video. I'm going to go wash the celery and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Celery, got it. Let's do it. I wonder if I can dehydrate the leaves. I don't see why not. Or should I just put it in my compost? I'm going to put this in my compost so my worms can enjoy this. That's what I'm going to do with that. Probably not all of it. Let's see, I could peel those off and we can eat that part. I also have one fly buzzing around my house. I've not yet been able to kill him or set him free for those of you that would rather I do that, but I'm really going to kill him. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. We're just going to cut. I'm going to, I'm going to cut them like those piece slices. Yeah. Because I don't want these falling through and... I'll eat that one. Again, we have this. That's going to be for the worms. Now you see, I don't have much celery, but what I plan on doing with this is like grinding it up and making like a celery powder. Not celery seed because it won't be seedy. Words of wisdom from Michelle. Seedy. It's a new word. I'm going to go work in the garden today, so I thought I needed to get this going before my whole day left me. That piece is not good. I don't want that. It's already like noon. Ooh, there we go. My poor husband is working. Oh, we don't want that icky tip. He's been, he has to work all day today. Bless his little heart. But I'm doing it in this size in my dehydrator. It might take a little longer. I don't know. I don't care. Because I'm not sitting here and just cutting all this celery into tiny little pieces that's just going to fall through anyway. Again, the worms. We'll see how it works. Oh, well, that's okay. So anyway, I'm going to go work in my garden today. I've got things to do out there. And I want to get out there before it's like 100 degrees out there. Which by the time I get out there, it's probably going to be 100 degrees. I, I don't know. I want to plant that little piece of celery too. Let me get my dehydrator. All right, I only brought over a couple trays because I don't think I'm going to need all of them. I really don't think so because I left this in such big hunks. But, 
professional tip from Michelle. You need to use all the trays in there so the air circulates. The air needs to circulate. Those of you that are watching me are probably saying, Michelle, you need to cut your celery smaller. I know I probably do, but you know what? I just do things Michelle's way. I like to go outside the box and not like do what other people do because that's just more fun in life, don't you think? We've got one tray, that much. See, we got that much on this tray and only a few on that tray. We're going to let this dehydrate on this 90 degree day. Professional tips from Michelle. Don't dehydrate when it's hot or humid. It'll take forever. Well, you can just know it'll take forever. That's what we're doing today. It's kind of like do what I say, not what I do. Outside the box. We like to think outside the box here. My husband will be so happy when he comes home, he'll say, what are you dehydrating this time? At least it's something that's not going to stink up the house, I hope. Here's the dilemma. I'm going to make an herb out of this, and there's an herb setting on here, and there's a vegetable setting on here. We're going to go with the vegetable setting because it's 135. One th oh! One th oh! One th by golly, did you see that? My camera just fell apart. Here, look. This piece, it falls off randomly. Wonder if I even need it on there. Do I need this on there? I don't know, but my camera is falling apart. But anyway, we are gonna set it on the 135 and just let it roll. I'll check it in a couple hours. I might try to fix my camera in the meantime. Oh, this thing just pops back on there. Do I need it on there? Probably. All right, I will be back and we'll check on this later. Hi everybody, we're back for our four, four hours. It's been four hours and we'll look at this celery. I've been out working in the garden, doing some t tomato, you know, just stuff. Look, it's, it's getting smaller. It's working. Probably should have cut it smaller, but you know what? I didn't, this might take, as long as the bananas. All I'm going to do is grind this up anyway. So we don't need it to be perfect. We just need it to be dry. So I'll probably check back in tomorrow. I might let this run overnight and then I'll check back in tomorrow. Mess. I know. I've been in my garden working. I planted the celery head thing. Root. Yeah, roots. We're gonna hope that grows. All right, now, in the middle of the night last night, I got up and I had to put this little plastic thing in because, now don't laugh at me because this is all I have and I didn't even eat any of it, but I had to put the plastic thing in because they were falling through, which that's what I didn't want them to do. And I thought maybe I would grind these up. I am leaving them this size because you know when you make soups or something and you need just a little bit of celery seed well i have real celery now and i'll always have it i'm gonna buy a couple more stocks packages of celery and do this and yes it stinks the celery stinks i went over by the window celery is good do it so you have some when you need it and there goes my dog again all right well if you like my video give me a thumbs up Come back, subscribe, make sure you subscribe. I've got like 80% of the people that watch my channel, they're not subscribed. What, what are you doing? All right, I'll talk to you next time, bye.